well do. Morning, Nathan. Afternoon. Afternoon again. Afternoon. We're sort of taking it easy these days. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling up the moors at two o'clock in the afternoon. Had a sly fry up, didn't we? We're on Dartmoor again. Hound tour today. We've been there before. And we're here now. We've got several tours to take in today and around this area. We're going to take in a couple of sites. Bowerman's Nose, which we've tried to reach before and never made it, didn't we? Yeah. So we're going to end up doing a bit of a walk around this area and then end up there for a wild camp up on Hound Tour. This is the area, Grimm's Pound, and that, where Sherlock Holmes' Hound of the Baskervilles book was based and set. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, part that of Conan Doyle. Does, I think he, it was inspired by Hound Tour. does in some way explain the name of the... Burger the burger van, hound of the basket meals. Anyway, so this is going to be our Dartmoor walk. Another wild camp, two tarp in it again, isn't it, boy? Yeah, two tarp wild camp, yeah. type two. We're going to go and find Bowerman's nose to start with. So uh, let's get on. It's a very popular area of uh, the moors, right like by the roads, this is where all the tourists come. It tends to be, if you see a walk or anything on the telly, it tends to be this sort of area. The only area that featured on the 100 greatest British walks. Once we're in the moors now, we can see this cluster of rocks over here, and then just on the edge down there, Bowerman's nose, the elusive Bowerman's nose. I wanted to come here before because my brother Robin has done a painting of Bowerman's nose for me. He gave me for my birthday, which is up on our wall in our front room. So we came here before, me, Nath, and our friend John, and uh, we got fairly lost over there between Hay Tor and Hound Tor in a fern forest. This time, we're gonna be there in a minute. So get Bowerman's nose done, dusted. Bowman's nose, majestic. There's a legend, a Dartmoor legend. Nathan, you happy about that? I don't want to respond because it's always <laughs> negative. <laughs> legend. There's a, a story from Norman time that says the Bowerman refers to Bowman, an archer. He was said to have been a, a mighty hunter and one day him and his team were chasing their quarry when they stumbled upon a witch's coven and even knocked the witch's cauldron over. Furious, the witches decided to punish Bowerman. So the next time he went hunting, one of them turned themselves into a hare and led him in such an exhausted chase that he eventually fell from his horse into a bog. Before he had sunk further than his waist, however, the witch turned him into stone. And the same fate befell his pack of hounds, whose petrified shapes can still be seen on the crest of nearby Hound Tor. There you go. Two uh, legends in one there, Nath. Bowerman, up to his waist, and then the other packs over in Hound Tor there. True story, mate. Bowerman, glad I got to see him. Tell me brother now. Nath's been bit by something, reacting to it. It's like the old school computer games you play when you've got three lives. And you're a little bit sort of carefree and a little bit sort of frivolous. But the moment you lose one life, you suddenly start to become aware. I went clay pigeon shooting before and I got bit by nine horse flies in close succession. And that was it, game over for me, like, you know. And there he goes, Bowerman. Cheers and Bowerman. Thanks for having us. Some of you may have noticed that today I'm not carrying my off-spray Atmos. I've gone back to the Alpine Ascent. The main reason being is I'm not carrying all my camera equipment today. It adds a lot of weight and it adds a bit of discomfort, even on a day when the temperatures are more acceptable. Given the heat and the uh, effort involved, I mean, we've only done one tour and we're already dripping with sweat. So the lightweight pack's on, we're already feeling the benefits. As we go through the day and the night, we'll see if I forgot to pack anything.
just nice to be in the shade a minute, isn't it, mate? That was hot coming across there. It is red hot, isn't it? But here we are, side of a road in the Manhattan area, and we're at Jay's Grave. Quite a famous sort of area in Dartmoor. Have you ever heard about Jay's Grave? No. Oh, you'll enjoy this, Nath. I've got another Dartmoor legend. Jay's Grave. Mary, or Kitty Jay, who was a young girl who worked on a farm in the Manhattan area. And she was seduced by the sun, and therefore she was thrown out of the house and off of the farm. So she then hung herself. Because it was a suicide, they wouldn't bury her in a church. So they buried her here, where the boundaries of three parishes meet. So no one could claim responsibility of her. She was buried here at this crossway so that the devil couldn't claim her soul and she couldn't return to haunt the living. And this was 200 years ago. But one of the biggest mysteries about this is that for those entire 200 years, there has always been a fresh set of flowers put on the grave. No one claims to know who does it. It's a bit of a mystery, isn't it, Nate? Right, so we was at Bowerman's, we've come to Jay's grave, that's where we are now. We want to go to Honeybag Tour, Chinkro Tour, which is another peakery high point, and Bone Hill Rocks, and then back over to Hound Tour for our camp. If we cut across here to Honeybag Tour, you can look over there and it looks a bit sort of overgrown. So I think we're going to try cutting out, going for any ferns and things. Naif doesn't want to get bitten. So we're going to take this path up to Natswavi, to Natswavi Manor. And then we're going to come up behind the back of Honeybag Tour and get on that little dotted green line up to Honeybag. That's what we're doing. valley down here that's where we're aiming to get so it seems like we're walking a long way around but cross country it seems a bit laborious so it's all right it's all good mileage we're on a road now walking downhill going meters and meters down when we need to be getting up do we know yeah but also heading down is good in a way because we're rapidly getting through our water so we need to find some water a stream somewhere normally i just sip at my water but today i'm gulping it well we can hear water just can't see it, it runs under the road private property here that's where we want to get to get the water I wonder if we can get through this field here. Found a way down to the stream. Here it is. A little bit more. Trev was telling me in the week about these stats on his uh, Sawyer Mini. The amount of water that it filters before its effectiveness sort of comes to an end is incredible. And I think next time, when the MSR comes to its end, I will definitely head down that road because it's a, it is a superior piece of kit as far as its main job, which is filtering water. But the drawback with it is this. How much water have you filtered so far, Trev? About a litre and a half. About a litre and a half, and he's just refilling his uh, bottle again. I've done two litres, all packed again, ready. Done, MSR trail shots gone, and I've been filming this. MSR and Sawyer, you need to somehow join forces or steal each other's ideas and uh, come up with that sort of longevity with the speed of the MSR. And then we've got a product that makes everyone smile. Kind of a grin. Must be for some sort of bovine. You seen this? It's like a lump of granite with a tree sort of grown in it, and you can't tell where. The tree stops and the granite starts. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Well, that's where we've got to get up there, but it's looking a bit ferny. I 
There should be a little track somewhere in between Honey Bag Tour and Chinkwell, which is the next one. Keep our eyes peeled for that. shade up here let's took it out mate uh, so this is honey bag tour we're coming up to it's a beaut god my head is pounding walking up there I can feel my pulse through my top of my head let's say tour back over there Real beaut of a tour, isn't it? Real strange shape. Stands out a mile. You might see in our video, I've done the astro photography up on that tour. And then me and Nathan John have been over there before. So here we are at the top of Honeybag Tour. It's Nathan. Eating. Eating. That was a slog up there, Nathan, wasn't it? Hot. Fair, wasn't it? Hot. Got the worst of the climb out of the way for a minute. Not cranberry? No, I'm alright for a minute. No sweaty. Oof. <laughs> Let's have a chill on your sweaty nuts, Nath. <laughs> what a day, Nath. Yeah. Handsome. Yeah. It's a fair old walk we've done so fast. We're over halfway. Hound tour. Area, isn't How are you in your new boots? Yeah, they're all right. I know, you've scuffed the out of the toes already. Yeah. <laughs> they are scuffed, aren't they? Do more walking in them, obviously. How does that mean that you scuff the toes up? I don't know. I don't you're, drag you're my been... toes along when I walk. That's the tour we went up, isn't it? <laughs> With Bumpus. Rip and tour. Saddle tour, and that'll be hay tour, and then that's where we come down into the valley to go <laughs> to hay to hound tour. That was an adventure, wasn't it? Some might say adventure, some might say misadventure, some might say misery. <laughs> Balls up. Cheers then, honey bag tour. Moving over now to Chinkwell tour. Another Peakery high point. Now, Peakery's it's a good little website. You can sort of tick off all the high points you do, not just on Dartmoor, all over the world. And the chap has now put a, a different sort of mission on there where you can go and just do all the tours on Dartmoor and tick them off. I uh, need to revisit it because I haven't updated it for a long time. We're not too bothered about the tours. We like to see the nice ones, the big ones. We're taking off the 365, but uh, yeah, you should check out Peakery. I'll put a link below. Tour, double summits. No, that will cause for, don't we, mate? What does that call for, Trev? It calls for a double summit, mate. Double summit? Double summit. We're going to give it one. I reckon so. Peakery High Point, Chickwell Tour. So I know I love the bleakness of like the northwest part of Dartmoor, but. This Widdicombe on the moor area is something else, it's absolutely stunning. 
And I think a lot of it is the mixture of trees, seeing more trees, you know, more woodland. I think I need to sort of get out of my stubborn ways and learn to appreciate this area or other areas of the more, more, you know. Jump in. It looks quite a long way. It just looks like a lot could go wrong. Yeah, I'm not carrying you back. I'm gonna carry you back to that car park and then go and get the car. I think I'd like to see you do that. Go on then, jump. Don't really. Why not? <laughs> I'm not really carrying you. Some fing friend you are. It's not that high, is it? You're f <laughs> for God's sake. No. It's about seven foot. <laughs> Yeah, only bloody done it. So I couldn't jump that. I can't jump off of this. I'll have to climb down that. I'll just be frightened of doing my ankle in. In that case, isn't he? Bye, Beltor. Bye, bye, Bell. Ba, 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 Bell. Well, hang on a minute. We've got to the easy bit. Don't you have to carry me now? Wasn't that the agreement? <laughs> I jumped. I told you I wasn't carrying you. And there we go, leaving Bone Hill Rocks. Now we've got to cut across to find the road back to Haytel. What do we know? Yeah, oh, he's one is the old inn. Oh, he's looking for a pub. <laughs> <laughs> We're on about getting back, then driving off to go for a pint, and then coming back and camping. So, <laughs> it's been that hot. We're both like, let's have a pint. <laughs> you can blame us. Oh, so we're on the road now. We've cut across from Bone Hill Rocks, across the moor. Back out on the main road now, or the road. Slog back to the car. It's still warm and it's getting into the evening now. Yeah, the evenings have been warm. Having yeah. a really nice summer. We don't like to complain, do we, Nath? No, no, it's seven o'clock and it's still really hot. Isn't it? Heading back to Hound Tour. Where we're gonna set up camp. Another summer wild camp. Yeah. Gonna warm one. Yep. So here we are now at the foot of Hound Tour. We've had a good old stomp, then we snuck off to Widdicombe on the Moor, had a drink and a pub meal. Cheated, didn't we, Nave? <laughs> well, we earned it. We did. And then when we were there and we saw people eating, do you know what we need? Pub meal. And possibly another pint. <laughs> so now we're going to go and find somewhere to camp. Two top, camping on Hound Tour. Hashtag, what? Hashtag two tart camping.
I made a couple of schoolboy errors here. One, I didn't put the front up first, and now it's too low. So it's like I've got crawl to get in and out. It's all right, it's all right. I can still get in and out. Biggest error I've made, I've left me bloody mug at home. Me mug and me spoon. So I'm gonna have to drink me coffee out me jack boil, so I'm gonna have to try and uh, measure the right amount. Cause you know what coffees are like when they're not the right consistency. All right, Nath. All right, Bert. How was that? Well, it's slightly more of a struggle than normal. <laughs> And we've only had two beers, so heaven forbid if we ever actually decide to get drunk and do this. Beautiful evening though, mate, isn't it? Oh, it's handsome, isn't it? It's probably the best evening we've been camping ever. It seems very similar to the evening though we was out under... Is this West... where I ended up sleeping in the car? Yeah, that was a nice evening. Yeah, yeah. You had a shit night. I've got my shawl. Oh, oh yeah. It's a slight nip in the air, but it's not quite cold enough to actually put a jacket on. <laughs> Too hot. How is the coffee situation working out for you, Trev? <laughs> Just as good as the tarp. <laughs> what an evening, though, Nafe. Oh, it's handsome, isn't it? What an evening, what a day. Oh, it's been an amazing walk, isn't it? That it has, boy. That it has. What a beautiful spot to pitch up as well, like, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Nice and calm. Beautiful views. Hell of a view. Nice valley down there. Is it? The pool behind us. <laughs> We've been in that valley. We it wasn't that nice. We've briefly been in the valley, yeah, it wasn't. Oh, I want to drink, drink, but I'm scared. <laughs> I can't bring it to my lips. You didn't just film me picking my nose, did you? Well, if you was picking your nose when you was walking towards me, yes. Yeah, well, I've just wiped it down there. It's a bogey stone. Uh, no, Logan stone. Logan stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just passed a Logan stone. <laughs> the, these evenings and early mornings, the light that you get for filming is yeah, weird, unbelievable, weird, isn't it? Isn't it? Lovely. That's why we do it, Nath, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not often up early in the morning or late at night, but yeah, it's definitely why. <laughs> <my laughs> yeah. Blows you away, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Lucky. Lucky to be here. Not just lucky to be here, but lucky to have found a motivation in our lives to look for something a little bit more than the four walls within which we live, isn't it? Yeah. And it's addictive, I find. I've noticed. If I haven't gone out for a couple of weeks, I start getting itchy. I'm like, I've got to get out. I love it. Makes you wonder why we bother doing it in early January and late December. <laughs> <laughs> Juniper. Oh, it's Juniper, isn't it? <laughs> is that Astonos? That's your anus, isn't it? Is that my anus? <laughs> it's like the moon I can put. Oh, no, it's, it's your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible, aren't I? It's such a Well, it's ten past eleven, still sitting out, outside. It's just lovely and calm, cool. I ain't gonna be up much longer, I'm a bit drowsy. It's a lovely evening, it's really warm. I don't think I'll be getting my sleeping bag any time soon. Feeling a bit drowsy and lethargic. We did just eat a massive meal and drink pints, so... In the sun has that effect, doesn't it? You might wonder why we do these hikes. Carry all these massive packs on our back. Walk around in a circle and get back to where we started before we get anything out of the pack. <laughs> yeah, we wonder that too. <laughs> um, it's training, isn't it? That's what we tell ourselves. Training. We can't do these hikes with these packs on. Who are you? But we, uh, we've got Ben Nevis coming up. If it's really hot, we're on about just day packing it. Just going up, getting the views coming down, and then finding a pub and celebrating the fact that we've done all three peaks. But uh, yeah, you got that to look forward to. So have we. 12 hour journey to get there, to get up to Scotland, 12 hours. So hopefully Nath won't be on his high protein diet then, stuck in a little car with Nath and his gas. You love it. Mm. So it's actually a really clear night out there. It's a shame we didn't bring our cameras. Could have done a bit of astrophotography. We really didn't plan this very well, did we? No. But then do we ever?
It's about half four. The sun's just about to rise and it looks awesome. So I'm going to go and have a look around outside. I don't want to be too noisy because uh, I don't think Nate slept last night. I don't want to wake him up. Hey, Nate. Hey, Nate. It was me. That's the tours we went across yesterday in the background there. Let's go see the silly sausage. It's only early. Very early. Morning, Chief. I didn't want to wake you because I didn't know what time you managed to get to sleep. <laughs> oh, it was late. <coughs> oh, very odd sleep I had. That way, is it? Yeah. Looks like it. Oh. It's twenty past five. <laughs> well, the sun's up. We're well, just singing. I'm absolutely knackered. We're not alone on the tour. There's some uh, folk camping over here. Shall I give it a seven or nothing next to him? why I'm having, I'm gonna put them in mine and make a, a mochaccino, it's my thing. It's his thing as well, eh? he copies me now. Does that every morning as a mocha, since I shared my uh, mochaccino flask with him on Bob Me Moore. I'm gonna have a look at Brown Crock, Brown, Brown Willy. I've set up a time lapse of the sun coming up over those rocks there but it hasn't, I think it's gone behind the rocks at an angle. Crappiest time lapse I've ever set up. Waste. The sun's up now. It's hot. Hot. I've packed up the top, you see? But look at this. I managed to get it back in my pack. Nate's gun is, and he said that's the first time he's done it, and I've done mine as well. So uh, yeah, good sign, a good omen. What a day! And there you go, like a nomad, my house is on my back. Everything I own, no trace. Take away memories, leave only footsteps. Something like that. 20 past six in the morning. Stroll back to the car. We're done, we? Done. Gwaine? Gwaine. Gwaine. Oh, quite that good knife. Yeah, it's probably to do with not having any sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'd spent a lot of my night dreaming about sweeping up insects. Weird that, isn't it? There's mm. a lot of flying kind of noises and creepy crawlies and shit. I'm pretty sure I got bitten on the arse by something at half past four this morning. I did apologise. I f***ing hate camping. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know, I enjoy it. It's weird, isn't it? Our roles have reversed, haven't they? I feel like I'm getting dragged out now 
against my will. <laughs> but I didn't want to go camping this weekend. I was like, let's just do a day hike. And Trevor's like, no, the weather's nice. You know, we'll only be moaning when it's winter and we want to go out and do one, which is true. I can't help but feel, especially at like one o'clock in the morning when you're still not asleep, you're too hot, you're in and out your sleeping bag, you can't get comfortable. You're paranoid that everything with more than eight legs is running around underneath you over the top of you and breaking the shit out of you. That maybe being at home in the comfort of my own home, in my bed, having a nice comfortable eight hours sleep would have been preferable. But what do I know? But I enjoyed it. I liked it. The thing that grates on me is the fact that the weather conditions couldn't have been better. It couldn't still have been better. To moan about. <laughs> and it still had a shit night's sleep. But it was a lovely area, wasn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. And yesterday it was a nice walk. Got two Dartmoor legends in yesterday, didn't I, mate? Yeah. He died a little bit. The less, less said about that, the better. Bowman's nose, I always wanted to see that, and now I can say I've been there. The Jay's grave didn't sound like a like a made up bullshit story about pixies, but most of them complete toss. I'm definitely gonna throw some of our own made up Dartmoor legends into the mix and see if you people can recognise them as false. Or have we already? Well I've had a lovely time. Oh yeah, me too. It's been great. <laughs> Now, what you're about to witness is the most cack-handed summit in the Netherlands. <laughs> <I'm just making laughs> <this. laughs> too bad. That was actually, that's how we should do it. Right, let's do it back of the hands. Oh, back hands. Oh, that's like. That's how we do it. Mm. That's how we do it. Got it down, haven't we? Well, I've been Trev. I've been Nath. We've been Summit or Nothing. And I've been generally unhappy. This is idiom. In it. It's just his idiom. Thank you for watching. We'd love it if you comment. We'd love it if you subscribed, if you haven't already. Share. Yeah, share. Our That's stuff. the key to getting new people to see our videos. Sharing. It's not just about getting new people to see our videos. It's about getting people that might not be interested in it right now, getting interested in getting out, getting healthy, getting in shape, and being active. Yeah. So anyway, Arriva Derch. Chase. We're here at the foot of Ben Nevis. It's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. Feels like we're on a pilgrimage, but we chose this route. It's a long climb. It's a zigzaggy, monotonous route. But it's ticking off one more, isn't it? Yeah. The big three. Done.